You guys have probably noticed that for the last several videos, the Provono uh, power supplier that I reviewed like about a year ago has been missing from my bench. And there's a reason it's missing. It's because I blew the crap out of it. And um, well, it hasn't worked for a while, but today we're going to fix it. A while back, you guys probably saw me do a video for this power supply, the Pivono PS305H. PS as in piece of shit. Um, hey, when I first did the review of this, I thought it wasn't a bad unit, other than the fact that the bracket at the back wasn't secured down. I ended up gluing it, but you know what? The power supply didn't last. I managed to blow it up and blow it up good. So when I turned it on, it would show 24 volts and just go down to zero and there was no power output. I turn it on, it just starts counting down. But there is no voltage. Turn it off. It'll just do that. It worked fine until one day when I, yeah, I kind of had a little bit of an oops. If you remember the day I was working on that uh, that TV with the backlight, and I put this power supply in series with my other power supply because I wanted uh, 50 odd volts. This one didn't like it, and this one ended up going pop. Now, that's all it does. So let's see what's wrong with this one. So if we remember the inside of this power supply, it actually has three separate power supplies. It has uh, two of them here, or two, two transformers, it looks like, that are used to power up the circuitry for monitoring the voltage and control, etc. And then it has one main power supply here. Uh, this is the, the, the main transformer. And over here we've got, this is the diode to rectify. And this is a MOSFET. I have a feeling that the problem with this unit is the MOSFET has shorted. But we'll check the diodes and everything first. So here's my meter and uh, get my leads untangled here. We'll just measure the diode. Now I'm getting a short on there, but it might be this MOSFET that's causing it because if this has got a short on it, it's going to it's going to cause a problem back further uh, on the diode itself. Let me just check the MOSFET here. Oh yes, see this one is completely shorted. So I suspect that that's what the problem is, and we're going to replace it. And it just so happens that I have a MOSFET that should be compatible with that. It's just a standard end channel, although this one's not exactly the same uh, transistor. Um, this one should be, I think, an equivalent. So let's uh, remove this one first. I'm just going to unsolder it. Remove the screw and insulator. Let's see if I can get the old one out. Okay, so there's the old one out. We'll place the new one in here.
you put the screw and insulator through the transistor and yeah I know I'm not putting any heat sink compound on oh well big deal and we'll reattach the, the new transistor and see whether we get regulation on this one now and I should test this diode and see whether the, that short the apparent short has gone away now that the transistor has been the defective transistor because this one here if we measure it I'll show you this one's shorted right so how does the diode look now yeah yeah the diode's looking okay right diode's okay now not shorting it was just this MOSFET that's popped I'm sure there's not a heck of a lot to go wrong with these type of power supplies other than blowing your output your MOSFET regulator to see if there's any shorts on the board which I don't see any here. It's good. Just gonna clean that up a bit. So I clean off the flux rosin from around the new component. We'll now see whether this thing operates my power cord. It's either gonna work or it's gonna go boom right so voltage Turn it down to minimum. I do think we've fixed it. Let's check the voltage and make sure that the voltage is correct. So, fluke meter. DC voltage range. Set this to 12 volts and see how close it is. I guess I can use the fine adjustment to get it to 12 volts. Okay, so my fluke meter measures a little bit off. I'm 0 0.08 volts off. I think I can live with that. That's close enough for me. Working, 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 working. Let's uh, see what happens if we put a short on here. We'll do our current short measurement. So current is turned down. This is how you adjust the current on this thing. As you short your positive and negative together. And that'll go you set you into a current limit. And then you can limit your current up to the five amps that the power supply is rated. And now I'm drawing 5 amps through this jumper, and yes, there's a 2.5 volt drop there because the jumper wire is starting to get warm. So we are pushing 5 amps for sure, guaranteed, because this wire is now, if I leave that running longer, this wire is going to smoke. So our current is working. Power supply is fixed. If you've got one of these power supplies and it's doing like mine was doing where you just turned it on and it started up at like, this one started around 25 volts or so, probably started at 30 and then came, come start coming right down because it, the uh, MOSFET was shorted. So what would happen is it would, a full power from the, from the transformer would be applied. It would detect an over voltage because if it goes over 30, uh, I mean, it goes up to 31.4, but if it goes much higher than that, it's going to shut down and go into a, a shutdown state. 
So with the with the MOSFET transistor here, regulator transistor shorted, the voltage was going much, much higher and it was going into an emergency shutdown. So you see the voltage would ramp way up and then the power supply itself would shut down and what you were seeing was you were seeing it basically see as it as it, as it shuts down it does that but what was happening is you turn it on it would go all the way up and then it would cut the power off and you see it dropping back down so you get a fluctuation of voltage up and then immediately off so if you blow your power supply up one of these type you switching power supplies there's the part it's uh, only cost me I think the part was uh, well, it's just a, it's just a standard end channel. I think it was a dollar, dollar and change. But it's just a power MOSFET. It's an I put an IRF five forty, which is a twenty eight amp one hundred volt end channel um, uh, tra MOSFET transistor. The original one that came out of it was a uh, what was this one? This one was a, what well, was it? It was an ST Microsystems, first of all. But the number on this one was a, um, an STP75NF75. That was the original one. STP75NF75. And I replaced it with an IRF540. That's all you need. If you manage to blow up your power supply, going to be this one here more than likely that's popped thanks for watching